I'm just making kind of a weird video. Um, I've been thinking a lot, playing my free-to-play character about efficiency in RuneScape. And I have some thoughts about it, and I'll kind of go through them. Uh, the first thing is that let's just agree that RuneScape is like a goal-oriented game and a self-driven game, right? So you, you log in your first time in Lumbee, free-to-play character, you look at all these stats, and you have many different ways to raise these stats, right? You can go for combat first and use the stuff in combat to do whatever. You can do fishing and then cooking to get better at the combat. You can do, like, you can just be a woodcutting and firemaking freak, and you can just do that all day. So it's it's a cool, the, one of the cool things about RuneScape is that you can kind of pick your own goal and do your own thing that makes you happy, right? <clears throat> and most importantly, what's important to one player in the game isn't important to all players. So, for me, I, I, I like to think about this very logically. I like to think about what am I actually trying to achieve and what's the best way to do it. So, for me, I prioritize high scores first and then the collection log and then finally gold. Gold, for me, is just a uh, currency, obviously, to do these two things. They're just like a, a resource. To me, having a ton of gold, it'd be cool to have a ton of gold, but it'd be cool to have a ton of gold because I could get a really high high score for like root crafting or something, buying a bunch of body roots or body uh, talismans. And <clears throat> to me, these are like the three major goals in RuneScape that are built into the game. Okay, so obviously the high scores, like... The high scores is obviously, like, the big one, because as soon as you see a player, like, I wish there was a player nearby, you know, like this guy, you can look him up, and what's the first thing you see? You see the high scores, you know, it tells you a couple things, like, this guy's a, a pay-to-play player, at least he was, or he's a bot, uh, that's a bot, but you know what I mean. Oh, he's got some giant mole kills, you know, this is what people look at when they, when they look at your account. <clears throat> so, for me... Since this page reaches the most people, it's going to be the most impressive to the most people. This is what I try and uh, specialize in. The collection log for some people is a bigger goal. Of course, there's like the collection log completionists and stuff on YouTube. But the thing about the collection log is that unless you're making videos about it, nobody knows about your collection log unless you're like wearing a bunch of rare shit. <laughs> so collection log for me isn't quite as impressive. And the idea for me is to make my account impressive. For, for you, it could be completely different. You may have the exact opposite priority. You might be like, well, I just want to be rich. I want to have like 10 bill GP. And then from there, I want to have like all the cool boss kills. I want to have all the rare boss drops. And if I get on the high scores while I'm doing that, that's cool. You know, and that's totally fine. You can have whatever goal you want in RuneScape. This is just for me how I think about the game. And I'm going to kind of like focus in on this. The, the, the weirdness of this a little bit. So, efficiency is weird. Um, there's this idea that there's efficient hours played. You'll see this on, like, Temple OSRS, Crystal Math Labs, uh, free-to-play.wiki. You'll see, like, efficient hours played for your skills. So they'll rank your skills not on necessarily, like, just your, your raw rank or your XP, but on, like, how many hours it would take you to get that skill given that you're playing at your utmost efficiency. And the, the weird thing about that is that obviously efficiency can be, mean different things. So for me, the high scores is efficient. But when I say high scores here, I don't just mean stats. I mean all the high scores. So on this character, this is my free-to-play character that we're checking out here. Uh, I just got 99 fire making like yesterday. It took me about a week. Um, from 85, it took me a week. Um, <clears throat> so for me, things that might not be efficient to other players actually are efficient to me, like beginner clues, because they have a rank. And this is one of the interesting design decisions of modern RuneScape, is to make everything high score. Like, oh, if you do Guardians of the Rift, uh, boom. You know, you do League, boom. You do fucking deranged archaeologists. There you go. You're getting some stats. 
and you're a sheep. So that's kind of that's how I think about it. I don't just think about these high scores. I think about these high scores. You know, now I really love doing clues. So that that's why this is kind of a compatible um, idea of efficiency to my playstyle because I like doing some of the side tasks. Like I've been killing Ogor over here. Um. So. So here's uh, on members. Let's just take an example, okay? Let me look at my um, my my main. It's not very good, but here's my main. Um, again, I have tons of clues. I love doing clues. Um, but let's say that I want to train fishing, okay? So here's my fishing. It's eighty-seven. I could just fish. You know, I could just do barbarian fishing or like two tick um, harpooning or something. But the thing is that there's another high score for Temporas. So let's say that I just do fishing. I just, let's just say I do barb fishing to 200 mil for some, for some reason. So I do barb fishing to 200 mil. I've reached 200 million experience. I can no longer gain experience. But my Temporas high score would be zero. So I would have to, if I wanted to get this 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 rank up, I'd have to do Temporas past 200 million XP, and then we have a situation which is definitely not efficient. So because I value these, it's actually better to train the skills with these than it is to actually train the skills. So, for example, like Winter Toad, or, you know, that's the classic, like... I want to at least do Winter Tone until I get, like, the completion log, you know, uh, and then and get the ranks from it, too, before I start just, like, burning logs like I did on my free-to-play character. So that's why my, my fire rank is actually higher on free-to-play than it is on members, and I just like free-to-play better for multiple reasons, but that's not what this video is about, really. So, yeah, so other tasks can be efficient for me that aren't for other people. Um... Similarly, someone who like considers the collection log their their peak of the like their highest priority would do weird stuff like like isn't there like some weird rum making mini game that gives you flags or something like banners you can walk around with like you might want to do that instead of training your perblor you know so it the the way that it works is kind of interesting because it just it gives different people different tasks that are the most efficient to them and that's kind of why I don't really like efficient hours played because I like I know the how it works I know it's the best system that we possibly could have for rating like snowflake accounts and whatnot on how long they actually spent doing the training and how impressive their stats really are but it just assumes that there's one efficiency and that's um, XP per hour, and it's not always the case. Um, so, for an example for free-to-play, I mean, I'm, I am in this area. And for an example for free-to-play, um, we have two, we have, like, well, a couple high scores that are separate from the, the, um, stats. So, beginner clues, obviously. But then there's Obor and Bryophyte. And because these two bosses are in the game, thinking back to the to the way I was thinking about Winter Tote and uh, Temporos, um, the best way to train your combat stats is actually to kill hill giants and moss giants for me. Because when you do that, you get the keys, and then the keys give you bosses, the boss kills that go on your ranks. So even if it was faster experience for me, like slightly faster experience for me to kill like flesh crawlers or some other or giant frogs or barbarians or monks or something, I would still kill the hill giants and the moss giants because it would give me more ranks on the high scores. And I know not a lot of people think this way because, like, even with 19 Obor kills, you're already at rank 61,000. Like, nobody cares about Obor and Bryophyte kills, but I do. So, and that's just, and you can like the game and, Play it however you want. That's just how I personally approach the game. To me, um, training stats is should almost exclusively, unless I'm AFK, I do flesh crawlers because I'm not the computer. It should exclusively be done with hill giants and lost giants, you know. Um, 
So this is just some wrapping up thoughts about efficiency. Efficiency is an inherently limiting idea. So um, if you're trying to be, to whatever your goal is, the most efficient that you can possibly be, then you are inherently cutting out parts of the game or you're forcing yourself to play a certain way. So like I was saying, if you want to be efficient about Winter Toad, then you're changing the way that you're going to do fire making. So you're making it so that when, whenever you're just burning logs, you're going to feel like you're being inefficient because you're not doing winter toe. And that's not always a healthy mindset. Um, for some people, it might just be more fun to just play the game. Like, just, just kill some giants because it's cool. Like, who cool giant. I'm just going to kill him. Yeah, look, he's got a giant cleaver and I'm killing him. Like, sometimes it's just fun to just play the game. Like... It's not always, it doesn't have to be, like, full, like, permanent sweats. Like, you don't have to be, like, on the edge of your seat every second just sweating it up, like, tick manipulating or whatever. Like, like yeah, so, so some players will find being efficient a slippery slope and the feeling like they have to do certain things, like tick manip. And it may hinder your enjoyment of the game. Like, if you don't like tick manipulation, just don't do tick manipulation. You know? Are you going to have 200 mil stats? Probably not if you don't do tick manipulation because it's going to take you a really long time. But is that necessarily a bad thing? No. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just it, the goals, you should set your own goals is really my my final word to you. You know, Don't let people tell you what is and is not efficient because they don't know anything about your account. They don't know anything about your goals. They don't know anything about like the kind of player that you are. You know, one of the things you might have noticed is if we go back to my stats here for my main, my members account, I have, like, no boss kills. I hate bossing. I, I don't like, like, dangerous tasks in games. That's why I do, like, Temporos and Winter Toad. I don't even like Winter Toad. That's why I did, like, half as much as Temporos, because it's dangerous. I like to do skilling. I like to do safe activities. And I like to have little risk. And that's okay. I... Is it more efficient if I go, like, if, oh, you got the stats, you can go kill Grardor, or you can go farm Zolra or something? I don't even know if I have the stats for Zolra. But let's say I, I did, right? It's it's not, like, yeah, sure, that'd be more efficient. I'd get more, even by my own definition, i get more stats here. You know, I'd get tons of money. It's the, it's the money noodle. But that's just not how I like to play. So... Even within my, my ideas, which are kind of strict about how efficiency should work, um, I don't, uh, I, I can make exceptions, and I think that's healthy, you know, don't, don't just ruin your life, like, no life tick manipulating with snow and free to play your, your fishing stat for 10 million hours, because that's what the internet told you to do. Do it because it's what you want to do, okay? And... Yeah, I already mentioned this. Like, high scores these efficient hours play, like free to play wiki or temple or SRS, can be counter to fun for some people. Because you could have spent, let's say that you spent like 100 or 200 hours getting um, 99 fire making, and then you go to the free to play wiki, and it's like, oh, you only really efficiently spent two or zero hours because you're supposed to zero time it with something else. Like, that's, that's not really, that, that might hinder your enjoyment. You're like, oh, so efficiently all that grinding I did was worthless and then you just quit you know and that's not really like a good healthy mindset so I'd say like unless you're one of those really that's your goal in the game is to be the sweatiest which hats off to you man go for it then these websites probably are going to be counter to your fun so personally personally for me I just get the ranks as high as I can without worrying about it too much you know, if I think it's fun to burn logs for a while, I'll burn logs, even though Winter Toad is the most efficient. Or if I if I have to, like, get up and spend time with my family, I'll kill flesh crawlers for a while instead of boss giants or hill giants. You know, it's not like I have to be playing the game 24 hours a day. And that's, that's kind of just the point I wanted to make. I just had some, like, little bullet points I wanted to go over. And maybe this was a little rambly and it didn't really have, like, a thesis. But I, I just wanted to get some thoughts out there. And there, there can't really be a thesis for this kind of... Thing because I'm really just talking about what you want to do and reaffirming that what you want to do is okay. And if you don't even want to play efficient at all, then just ignore everything I said. Just, just like I said, just kill the giants because they're cool. They're very large foes and they gotta die. So yeah, that's just kind of some some weird off the cuff 
thoughts here and uh hope you guys uh have fun and if you guys are runescape players then uh enjoy the grind <laughs>